Do you struggle to keep up the pace when you train or compete? Do you feel like you're running out of steam way too soon? In this video, we're diving into the power of carbohydrates as a fighting fuel. Learn the science-backed nutrition strategies of elite athletes to take your fight performance to the next level. Combat sports are usually performed at high intensities and for prolonged periods relying heavily on the glycolytic energy pathway. The availability of carbohydrates in the form of glucose and glycogen is crucial for sustained performance. Depleted stores are associated with reduced physical performance and cognitive function, affecting your training intensity, perception of fatigue, motor skills, and focus. As a fighter, it's essential to match your body's carbohydrate stores with the anticipated fuel demands. Your carb intake should be tailored to the exercise intensity and duration. Let's look at the fueling strategies that you can implement before, during, in between, and after exercise. At this point, you should grab your training schedule plus a pen and paper to write down your personalized fueling strategy. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends the following. For light skill-based activities, consume three to five grams of carbohydrates per kilogram of body weight per day. For moderate exercise of about an hour, aim for five to seven grams per kilogram daily. One to three hours of moderate to high intensity exercise require six to 10 grams per kilogram per day. If you train at a moderate to high intensity for four to five hours a day, you will need eight to 12 grams of carbs per kilogram daily. As you're approaching an important athletic event, carb loading can be beneficial in the 24 to 48 hours prior. For events lasting less than 90 minutes, consume seven to 12 grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight in the 24 hours prior. For events that last longer than 90 minutes, load up with 10 to 12 grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight per 24 hours in the 36 to 48 hours leading up to the event. If you're cutting weight for an upcoming fight or competition, you're likely reducing your carb intake in the days leading up to the event. In this case, the fueling window between the weigh-in and the event becomes even more important. Eating carbs four hours or less ahead of a challenging training session or competition can further increase glycogen stores, especially in the liver. Consume one to four grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight in the one to four hours leading up to the event. Foods low in fat and fiber with a moderate protein content will be quicker to digest and easier on the gut. Here's a simple rule to follow. If you have four hours or more before exercise, consume about four grams of complex carbs, half a gram of protein and 0.25 grams of fat per kilogram of body weight. If you have about three hours left, reduce the complex carbs to three grams per kilogram and reduce the fats. If you have only two hours left, switch to two grams of simple carbs and reduce the amount of fats and protein. If you have less than one hour, remove the fats, reduce the protein and eat one gram of simple carbs, low in fiber per kilogram of body weight. Loading up on carbs before exercise is crucial, but for certain activities, you should also fuel up during exercise. The amount, timing and type of intra-workout fuel depends on the intensity and duration. During brief activities lasting less than 45 minutes, carbohydrate intake is not necessary. The body typically has enough glycogen stored to fuel such efforts. During sustained high intensity activities of 45 to 75 minutes, small amounts of simple carbs can be beneficial. Even just rinsing the mouth with a carbohydrate rich drink has shown to stimulate the central nervous system, improving the well-being and work output of athletes. For longer activities of up to two and a half hours, the recommended carbohydrate intake is 30 to 60 grams per hour. For example, this could be the case if you go from your SNC session straight into your technical training, or if you do two combat sports training sessions back to back. It's important for you to find and practice a fueling plan that suits your individual goals, hydration needs, and gut comfort. It might make sense to introduce carbs in smaller amounts and increase your tolerance over time. Once your training or competition is over, recovery becomes the main focus. Your body rebuilds its glycogen stores slowly at about 5% per hour. So eating carbs immediately after your training or competition will enhance your recovery, especially in between high intensity activities. Remember that these are all general guidelines from the American College of Sports Medicine. You should fine tune these rules based on your training schedule, fighting style, GI tolerance and performance outcomes. Also pay attention to your total calorie needs as well as your fat and protein targets. Consider working with a certified nutritionist to develop a personalized fueling strategy. Now that you've figured out carbohydrates, there's one more key to athletic performance that you don't want to miss out on. Watch this video next to learn about the hydration protocols of elite fighters. I know this was a lot to digest, pun intended, so you might want to save this video and come back to it later. Like, comment and subscribe if you found this video helpful. As always, train hard, recover smart and fight easy.